Low Run on Star Storm Battles 4 Ultra League. Today I'm going to play with Sceptile, Obstagoon and Cresselia. I'm only having fun with this team, so let's see if this team can do something in higher ranks. Now this guy just bring a... The reason I'm going to bring Cresselia here. So, Cresselia is a huge wall for for Virizion. Let's see what this guy will do now. Tries to kill the first moon blast. Cresselia can tank a ton of leaf plates. Like four, five, not sure. More three than the four. You better shoot sometimes because you can farm down. But at this range, yeah. Now, I guess it works the shield here. And I will pressure that last HP with the grass knot. Now let's see now. So I just saw 4 step out here and let's see if this guy decides to shoot because the leaf blades will add good damage as you see. And I want to pressure that last shield from the police core. That's why I bring the step out here and this guy survived with 1 HP. And the problem from Sceptile is too squishy as a huge attack but too squishy so it's better if you have shields let's guys save the shield for this pokemon i'm going to sex swap here the cresselia just absorb this freaking swipe this guy will farm down all the way but he realized i'm going to reach the moon blast and then throws energy but at this point, I guess Obstoon can tank every move from that Pokemon. And now the Night Slash will be enough, and this is going to be a good game. So, first game. I'm spatting a ton of water Pokemon, that's why I'm running Sepal on the lead. And then I have Obstagoon for a possible Giratina swap on my Sceptile and Cresselia as well to deal with. Giratina and other water type Pokemon. I'm not spatting too much fire type, that's why I'm running this team. This team is not good against a fire type Pokemon, so I'm not spatting to see too much. Now it's a Polyrath, like I said, now this is Steelix. And I have two answers for Steelix. Well, I guess I'm going to throw a Earthquake and then bring the Hops to win. Let's see how much damage this thing will do with a Breaking Swipe applied. So I've done some decent damage, not that much because of that breaking swipe. But Topstagoon will now try to shut down this thing, I will try to get the boost. And unfortunately this guy reaches another breaking swipe. Okay, so I will throw now the gank shot on this polyrath. I'm running gank shot because my Obstagoon may be some blocked in the fairy type match and gun shot does a huge amount of damage on fairy types so now it's a polygraph against the first cell and this guy has a zap those in the back so the things are not looking good zap is is not a common pick for ultra league but it's a dangerous pokemon for this team now I have to bait with a grass knot in order to try to flip this battle. Let's see if my opponent falls for the bait and falls for the bait because up is too squishy, that's why I did that. And now I will throw this moon blast, probably I will get that last shield. Nice. And because the moon blast has lowered the attack from Zapdos, I will call this a bait and it was all to drill pack. And now I was spatting the death swap, that's why I didn't throw the energy. And now Sceptile will kill this Polyrath. And now Zapdos is forced to draw energy on my Sceptile. I still have a shield, I have a Moonblast loaded on Cursalia, so I guess it's going to be a good game. And now this Moonblast is more than enough to kill Zapdos, so good game. Nice battle anyway. I was, uh, I was spatting that swap, that's why I didn't throw immediately the energy. 
and it results because if I for some reason throw the energy on Polaraf probably I won't be able to beat that battle. So now it's a good drill leap. I don't throw Cressel immediately because this guy probably has a steel type in the back. That's why I bring the brought the, the obstacle here. And I'm trying to get that boost. This was simply this guy has some decent amount of energy, so I'm going to shield him. It was a Draco Meteor, so well called there. And this guy is crazy to throw that move on the, the shield scenario, I guess. Try to caught me by surprise, and now this guy just swapped for Feraligator, which is not the best answer for Obstagoon, I guess, because Shadow Claw does almost zero damage, and now I will bring the Sceptile. And Zepta will do some serious damage here. This guy tries not to shield, tries to shield. So, probably this guy is weak against the Zepta in the back. Let's find out. So, I want this guy to shield again to make sure this to let me know this guy is weak against grass types. And now it's the Gudra. I'm going to throw another leaf blade. I don't want this guy to reach a move. And now. Calvator is going to throw energy and I have to bring Cresceli here to farm the rest so let's see what's going to be and it's a chalice and so this could be a complicated battle because at some point I have to catch a move from chalice in order to beat it because this guy can reach two shadow balls before I knock out the chalice with grass knots because I, I need to throw three grass knots and this guy only needs two shadow ball, shadow balls and I tried to to catch but this guy was aware of my moves and not sure if I can beat this and I reached the grass knot not sure if this guy didn't have the energy enough to, to throw shadow ball but probably not because I was betting to lose because I, I couldn't catch the move but I shall reach the grass knot so good game there so, as you see, Sceptile seems a decent pick, or any grass type like a Venus or Pirisin, because players are running too much Pokemons, so many Pokemons weeks against the grass type moves. And now, this guy is staying with Gliscor, which is telling me this guy probably has some issues with Cressel in the back, and shielding was. I don't want to shield. Because this guy don't get the boost yet, didn't get the boost yet, so I will try to wait for the, the best time to shield a possible boost from Night Slash. That's why I'm just saving, saving shields. And this guy shielded twice Gliscor. So I don't know if I should get worried about the the backline from this guy or because Crystal is a dead Pokemon at this point, and I have to switch. I'm going to bring Sceptile. I want to get rid from this Gliscor. I know it's only a Night Slash, that's why I decide not to shield. But as you see, that simple Night Slash does significant damage on Sceptile. Sceptile is has a really low defense, has a nice attack, but the defense from Sceptile is, you can say, trash. But nice damage there with the Leaf Plate. And now. This is the Polyref and this guy is probably really bad against grass types in the back. And I have to shield Polyref and let's see if this guy decides not to catch my move. Okay, decide to catch. Watch that thing. And it's a lantern. So this guy is not that good against grass type grass types, like I said. In the beginning of the video, most of the players are really weak against grass types, that's why I I bring the Zeppel for this video. It's a fast Pokemon, but you need shields for it, so probably if you want a more bulky Pokemon, you should go for Tangrove, Venusaur, Brazian, Zeppel, only if you want to heal like damage and then use shields. In here, I try to go for the gank shot and Probably Night Slash would be enough with some Cycle Cuts from Cresselia and I will never know, probably that Polyref could survive with very low HP 
not sure if I was able to repel from that range with the Night Slash. So, let's move for the final battle. So now it's a Feral Alligator lead, which is awesome. And now this guy just beats. That's a Lazo. Wow. It's a fire type. It's the first type fire type I'm seeing. And my Cresselia don't have access to Future Sight, which is a shame here because my team is bad against this Pokemon. It's not sure if this is a common Pokemon, I guess not. It's quite it's a bit spicy there, but it's a nasty Pokemon against this team. A Pokemon that I probably didn't want to see here. And I tried to wait the future set, but probably here I'm not going to get that last show. And I have to bring Obstagoon, which is uh, a bit neutral, but this guy wins CMP, so yeah, I decided I just don't like this Pokemon. And because of that Pokemon, I'm going to lose the, the control of the barrel because now this guy can bring an answer for Obstagoon. But probably this guy don't have an answer, but has shield and some energy advantage over me, so the things are not looking good and I decided to let it go because this guy has another Hydro Cannon prepared so it's going to be useless to shield that and I don't even know what's in the back probably something strong against Zeptile and I will farm down all the way and here I did this catch because I knew this guy was almost reaching the charge move so let's go there and it's a guillotine now I can say it's Salazzo save this guy Salazzo just shredded this team and probably with something like Sceptile on your team you will need the Cresselia with the future side to cover from fire types but I guess fire types is almost not on the Ultra League at this point maybe Charizard sometimes they are on flame but they are quite rare now because water types are everywhere so this team was not built to counter fire type users so it was, this was my my battles for Ultra League. I, with these battles, I climbed up from rank 20 to the ace rank, and this was it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.